what's up what's happening you guys welcome back to my channel thank you for tuning back in my name is justice if you're new here if you're not you already know the vibes back with y'all <laughs> i need to stop doing that because it looks fake but it's real i with y'all thank you for tuning in today i'm going to show you guys how i got this hair color baby it's just chef's kiss okay it looks real cute i just like this ash brown highlighted hair i'm gonna show you guys how it looks in kind of natural daylight as well so you can see the true color so if you want to see how i got this color keep on watching everything i use will be in the description as always and i hope you enjoy because baby but is you subscribed yet no i'll wait <laughs> Period. Let's go. Hey guys, voiceover justice here from the future, okay? So we're gonna start on this old hair that I have. It's not freshly washed or anything. Don't mind me in the background. Um, but I think it's better to do this on hair that isn't freshly washed. So I've got some foil that I've cut up into some strips. I've got some powder bleach. I'm using the rapid blue powder bleach from True Lights. I also have the corresponding peroxide but bitch this is liquid it clearly says liquid peroxide i thought it was the cream peroxide baby i didn't even know there was a liquid so i would avoid this if you have the cream one use the cream one this was tragic you gonna see <laughs> but get you some gloves get you an applicator something with a pointed end you could also use a rat tail comb this is just going to help when you do the highlights and you want to weave in and out the hair so something pointy and then girl you're gonna need some clips okay and some hair bands you're gonna need a whole lot of stuff to separate the hair into sections and you're gonna want some wipes have some wipes on deck because this got messy i didn't show you guys but my floor was covered in stuff so cover your floor with some bin bags or something we're gonna start by parting and sectioning the hair so I might put a little picture of myself in the corner just there so you can see what the outcome is so it makes a bit more sense what I'm doing but I wanted to have these highlighted sections in the front I wanted these sections to be really really bright I wanted them to be the lightest out of all of the hair on my head so I went ahead and sectioned these little pieces at the front you obviously want to make sure that these are equal sections so that it matches on either side. I am doing a middle part, so I want to match them on either side. I'm just taking my time doing this and then I'm going to obviously clip that to one side. So next, we're going to start sectioning the body of the hair. So what I'm doing is taking a generous amount from the bottom. We're going to start from the bottom upwards and I'm just separating the hair following the tracks. So I've probably got like four, about four tracks here from the bottom that I'm just going to make my first section. This will make sense when we actually come to bleaching later, but we're just sectioning so that it's a super easy process because baby bleaching is stressful. I'm going to go, oh, twerk break. <laughs> baby, uh, if it's not a twerk break, is it even a video by me? Um, but we're going to go ahead and section the rest of the hair. So here you can see I've got three sections in hair bands and then I have the top half or the top section, which I'm going to come to later. Oh, shit. This is so this is where I realized I had liquid peroxide. You know when you squirt ketchup and you get that liquid bit that's like really gross that first comes out? That's what I thought was happening. But then I realized it's just liquid, bitch. Like, <laughs> what? And this just didn't mix, like, it was all lumpy, the bleach powder was lumpy, it wasn't like a nice smooth liquid how it normally is with, with the cream. So I would avoid this 100%. And it was real potent, I had to go and grab myself a face mask, like, this shit was potent as hell. I'm gonna start off by taking down that bottom section. I'm gonna split that section in half and work with half sections all the way up the head because it just makes it a lot easier. So we're going to brush that section out again and then we're going to take the pointed end of our comb and weave in and out of this entire half section. So what we're doing is creating our sections to highlight here. But this is how you separate the hair to be highlighted. So, oh baby, I was playing Megan, like... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, okay, do you Um... I'm gonna show you again, I'm gonna show you guys this a couple times, but I'm just making sure to go all the way through when I'm doing my weaving, okay? I don't wanna, you don't wanna do it just on like the top two tracks, you wanna go through all of the tracks to make sure you're getting all of the sections for your highlights. 
so once you do that you want to just separate it out brush it through again make sure they're nice and sectioned and then i just go ahead and grab one of my foil sheets and we're gonna start applying the bleach this is where it got messy baby like <laughs> after this i just said never again to bleach but you you'll see it it was a mess but it worked in the end so i'm just taking the comb side of this little comb or applicator and i'm just starting to layer on that bleach and y'all can kind of see like it look real chunky like it don't look smooth at all it just wouldn't mix i blame the liquid eventually i got tired of using that little applicator because it was just a mess girl like it was a mess so i ended up going back and forth with my hands and the applicator just get the bleach on at this point like you want to make sure you're saturating all of the hair getting underneath getting in between the strands because you don't want it to be super patchy so i'm just making sure i cover it and saturate it generously i'm also attempting to feather the bleach up the hair so as i get closer to the roots i almost want to do like an ombre or just feather it so there's not a harsh line i'm just doing that and then what i'm gonna do is wrap the hair up in the foil because this is gonna help it to process faster the foil is gonna trap all of the heat and it's just gonna help the hair to lighten i will say it's a lot easier to go in with the bleach once you've weaved the section to be highlighted and just go in with your hands and then put the foil on this was way easier it's just really messy and means that you've got bleach on your gloves so you just have to be super careful not to get the bleach all on the sections of the hair where you don't want it to be highlighted if that makes sense but that's why we have the wipes because it's real messy you gonna see it's gonna get messy but you can just use the wipes to get rid of any excess bleach that you don't want you know on certain bits of the hair watching this back is actually giving me anxiety because look at the mess oh my god my floor was so messy you guys but it was worth it for the end result so i've repeated this for my bottom sections and what i've done is just taken a big sheet of foil just to separate the top half of the head just so you know bleach isn't getting everywhere and to keep it nice and neat and tidy so what had happened was i had forgotten to put bleach on the front pieces of my hair which were meant to be the lightest so i quickly went to the front and just slapped some bleach on there and what i'll do is just leave this on the longest so i'll probably you know just let this marinate in the foil so that it can get really really light so when it comes to the top of the head what i decided to do was separate this into three smaller sections so i have a side on the left a section on the right and then i've got the section in the middle so right now you can see i'm working on the right side section and i'm just weaving creating my highlights and i'm just going to do what i've been doing throughout the whole process putting the bleach on putting the foil on and then moving on to the next section i don't know how long i left this on for i think i just kept going back and checking on it and you know waiting to see if it had lightened so probably about 30 minutes 35 minutes just keep an eye on it because it is 40 volume de developer so it shouldn't take too long baby i was over it i was so over it never again but <laughs> what i decided to do when i saw that the sections were lightening i took all of the foil off and then kind of just lathered all of the hair in the leftover bleach that i had or i may have made mixed up a little bit more but i just completely loved it everywhere because i wanted to lift up the really dark brown i didn't want to have that super super dark brown all over the hair so i did that and then put a little bit of foil on the ends just so the ends would be super light as well you know just a little razzle dazzle <laughs> again i'm not too sure how long i left it on for i just eyeballed it truthfully but when it was time to wash it out i used my shimmer lights purple shampoo I also had this touch of silver which you can use if you don't have access to shimmer lights and then it also had this touch of silver conditioner so this is all for blonde hair so i definitely recommend using something purple and i'm crossing my fingers because i just didn't want this to be super brassy but i ended up just washing it out with my shimmer lights i kind of let it sit in the shampoo as well just for a little bit like a weird weird just so the purple could really work on the brassiness I didn't mix it too much with water just because that kind of lavers it up and then it kind of just dilutes the purple so you know I rinsed out the bleach and then just slept on the shimmer lights and let it sit for about 
maybe only 10 minutes or so just to get all the breasts in this out because baby i didn't want to be walking around with ginger hair like that's that's not what this is once that was all washed out i then went in with the conditioner and i actually let this sit i think overnight because i was really scared that i damaged the hair so i let the conditioner sit in the hair in a plastic bag overnight just so it could have like a little deep condition you know a little a little extra tlc this was the result of washing the hair so there was only a tiny bit of shedding i was really surprised i thought there was going to be more but this is really good like it's hardly anything so just be aware this is the shedding you'll get with this hair so the next day i had already blow dried the hair i had started straightening it but i kind of wasn't happy with the color so i have got my ring light on at this point which is kind of making it come off a little more brassy than it did look in real, per in, in real life but I kind of wasn't happy with the color i felt like it, it was just giving ginger so what i basically did was pick up this purple mask from l'oreal um it's just an intensive purple mask and it's meant to help with the brassiness of the hair now i'm including this because this is what i did but i honestly feel like this made absolutely no difference so you could probably skip this bit i wouldn't recommend it wasn't 10 out of 10 but I slathered that on, left it on for maybe 20 minutes and here you can see a side by side comparison, there was no difference, there was no difference, it looks the same, to me anyway, maybe like a slight difference um, and you can see where I turn my ring light off, the hair actually looks really really good on the right but yeah this is kind of how it looked already so I would skip this step truthfully, honestly. So what I decided to do was use this other colour that I picked up from, I think it's Sally's. We have a Sally's here in the UK, um, but it's a different colour from L'Oreal as well. It's Dialyte, the kind of name of the, the product, and I got this in a 10.12. Um, and you have to mix this with cream peroxide, which I also picked up at Sally's, and this is in 3%. It's 10 volume and 3%, so yeah <laughs> and you just want to mix that together and apply this all over the hair so that is what i did baby and i'm gonna let you guys know this stuff is not cheap it's not cheap sally's over here is like a professional hair kind of hairstylist shop so it's where people i think from salons go and get their their products so it's not cheap at all if you can find an alternative um definitely leave it down below if you're in the States, you could easily just pick up the Weller um, like T14, I think, or T18 toners. Those are really, really difficult to get here in the UK. So I had to just, I had to just do what I had to do. Because at this point, I was just so over having this brassy hair. I was just willing to do whatever. But I think the Dialyte uh, little box dye things retailed for £16, I think it was. And I picked up two of those and two like just about stretched the entire head of this hair so just be prepared like if you want to get this exact color this is what i did so i'm just gonna go ahead and style the hair i'm gonna let you guys see what i did i went in with this i think it's caronics it's just really nice to straighten hair with and i also went in with this Cantu hair wax this is just to get the flyaways and stuff down this is to like flatten your wig if you wear wigs and you don't have one of these like wax sticks this and a hot comb baby <laughs> this is gonna gather you all the way together you need this so i put this on the top of the head oh the top of the wig the top of the hair whatever the foot i put this at the top of the wig like i'm showing you guys um which is great but you also want to section the top bit of your hair so you want to brush that in but go back and section the hair bit by bit like i'm going to show you guys apply some of the wax and then go in with your hot comb and this is going to make your install flat i'm telling you guys if you take anything from this video take this <laughs> that's what you want to do in terms of straightening i always use the chase method which is just where you have a comb or a brush in front of your straightener so that the hair is kind of you know being brushed and then passing through the straightener this just gets it dead straight it's better to use like a smaller comb um it, i don't know why it's just better um it just gets it dead straight in like one pass so this is what i always do because it's less work work smarter not harder and i'm just going to do this for the entire head of hair and that is everything you guys we're done 
So that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this chaotic video. But this is the first time I've bleached hair or really done anything to my hair. I tend to always keep it the same one B basic bleach color. <laughs> I had to switch it up. <laughs> If you enjoy my videos, don't forget to subscribe, engage with my shit, give me a like, give me a little comment, you know how it go. You already know the vibe, you already know how it go. Um, it just puts me on the algorithm so my videos will come up more frequently. I'll also leave my Instagram here or somewhere if you want to follow me. If not, you know, that's not <laughs> it's a wrap. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.